Good afternoon and welcome to the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels. Please stand and join in our entrance hymn, number 821. I heard the voice of Jesus say, number 821. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us with humility acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words and what I've done and what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, the most grievous fault. Before I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who raised up the priest St. John Bosco as a father and a teacher of the youth, grant, we pray, that aflame with the same fire of love, we may seek out souls and serve you alone. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us rid ourselves of every burden and sin that clings to us and persevere in running the race that lies before us while keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and perfecter of faith. For the sake of the joy that lay before him, Jesus endured the cross, despising its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider how he endures such op opposition from sinners, in order that you may not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. They will praise you, Lord, who long for you. They will praise you, Lord, who long for you. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear him. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your hearts be ever merry. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow down before him. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. Before him shall bend all who go down into the dust. And to him my soul shall live. 
my descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus had crossed again the boat on the other side, a large crowd gathered around them and they stayed close to the sea. One of the synagogue officials named Jairus came forward. Seeing him, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him, saying, My daughter is at the point of death. Please, Come, lay your hands on her, that she may get well and live. He went off with him, and the large crowd followed him. There was a woman that fled with hemorrhage in, for 12 years. She had suffered greatly at the hands of many doctors, and had spent all that she had. Yet she was not helped, but only grew worse. He had heard about Jesus and came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloth. She said, If but I touch his cloth, I shall be cured. Immediately a flow of blood dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed of her affliction. Jesus, aware at once that the power had got out from him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who has touched my cloth? But his disciples said to him, You see how the crowd is pressing upon you, and that you ask who has touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. The woman, realizing what had happened to her, approached in fear and trembling. She fell down before Jesus and told him the whole truth. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Be cured of your affliction. While he was still speaking, people from the synagogue official's house arrived and said, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any longer? Disguarding the message that was reported that Jesus said to the synagogue officials, Do not be afraid. Just have faith. He did not allow anyone to accompany him inside except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they arrived at the house of the synagogue officials, he cut aside the commotion, people whipping and wailing loudly. So he went in and said to them, Why this commotion and whipping? The child is not dead, but asleep. And they ridiculed him. Then he put them all out. He took, along with the child's fathers and mothers, and those who were with him, and entered the room where the child was. He took the child by hand and said to her, Talita kum, which means little girl. I said to you, arise. The girl, a child of twelve, arose immediately and walked around. As they were uttered astonished, he gave strict order that no one should know this and said that they should be given something to eat. Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> Thank you. 
In today's gospel, as always, we see the love and the concern for Jesus that he has for humanity, for the people who are suffering, always there to help. And what a beautiful way to say to the officer of the synagogue, do not be afraid. Your daughter is not dead, but she's asleep. And when he got there, he invited his parents to go in, and he said, Talita kum, little girl, I said to you, arise. And then Jesus says, give her something to eat. Huh? What a beautiful concern. So this reminds us that we too are called to follow Jesus Christ, to heal one another. I know we cannot resurrect the body, if people who are dead, but we can do other miracles that Jesus' grace can allow us to do it. And think about when a parent uh, prepare a dinner for their family or for their children. They don't just do the dinner as an obligation or to feed them, to nourish them, but there's love behind their cooking. There's passion and love to make sure that, that what she does, she does not just as a way to feed them, but to love them. Or if you're trying to go to work and you're trying to be on time, it's not a matter of respect, but it's also a matter to be there because that's who you are as a person to make a difference in another people's life. There's so many ways we can see how Jesus touched a family by doing something for a little girl, 12 years old. And then he was concerned. And he said, give him something to eat. Every day, we have so many opportunities to be like Jesus. Listen to one another, a smile, a phone call, a person is in distress. We can do a lot. Let us ask the Lord to give us the grace to always reaching out our brothers and sisters throughout the day because the opportunity for us to build the kingdom of God on earth doing what Jesus does and we do ourselves as well is so great that we can make the world a better place. Let us take refuge in the Lord and offer our petition in His holy name. For the Church, may God bless her and increase her in unity for His glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For world leaders, may they be blessed with God's wisdom in policy making and governing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For at risk youth, may the love of Christ be a shield of protection and mercy for them. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, may our participation in this Eucharistic celebration grant us perseverance to run the race before us. Let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, May they be welcome into Christ's kingdom, where there will be no more suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. For the repose of the soul of Petri Petronio M. Extra, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Loving God. We ask that you graciously hear and answer our prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We invite you to come forward and place a donation in the baskets near the sanctuary to help the mission of the cathedral. Thank you for your generosity.
pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours to be accepted to God, your mother, father. O oh Lord, we bring to you utter these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to just a duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. O Lord, the Holy Father, our Mother, the Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For as on the feast of St. John Bosco, you ask the Church to rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by the words of his preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayer. So with all the company of angels and saints, we sing the name of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. I call it for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrated the memorial of his death, the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and ministry to you. Humble we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Hosea Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Lord, bless blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, 
St. John Bosco, and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, O Mighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At civil command, a form by his divine teaching would dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. A new stake, quit all this peccata mundi, miserere nobis. A new stake, Quit holis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, quit holis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed those called to the supper of the Lamb. Please join in number 1028. You satisfy the hungry heart. Number 1028. You satisfy the hungry heart with the gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with the gift of finest wheat. Come. Give to us, O oh, saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. With joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude that 
you should count us worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You satisfy the hungry heart with the gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Is not the cup we bless and share the blood of Christ outpoured, do not one cup, one loaf declare our oneness in the Lord. You satisfy the hungry heart with the gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, through faith may ever increase, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Your mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and each other. We remind you that a security officer will be outdoor bronze to validate your parking validation. The parking validation is good for 90 minutes. And also, I would like to welcome anyone who is new to the cathedral. You can please raise your hands as you're visiting us the first time. Anybody? Yes. Right. 